I'm here at Malerba's in Norwich getting some ice cream with an old friend. Hi everyone. Miss you. Hope things are good up at KISS. Do the best you can. Now on to the rest of your morning announcements. Hi everyone. It's Miss Smith here again with another Mental Health Minute. And this is my dog Simba. And I'm wondering, do you ever feel like this quarantine is never going to end and you're never going to see your friends again and go out in the world and do all the things you love to do? Well, it's times like these where we really need to think about how can we take care of ourselves. Sometimes a dog or a pet is just the thing. Animals tend to sense when we're sad and they know just how to comfort us. But even if you don't have a dog or any other pet, there's other ways that you can do it. For instance, you can make yourself a comfort kit. You can take any box at all, and even if you want to decorate it, you can make it really nice looking, and then fill it with items that will make you feel better. So for instance, in my comfort kit, as you can see, I have a stuffed animal. This is an exact replica of the dog I loved when I was growing up. I also have pictures of people that are important to me to help remind me that I am loved. And I also have a journal that I can write in and vent and say whatever I need to say. And lastly, I have symbols of things that make me happy. So you can fill your toolkit with whatever things make you happy. Maybe just lyrics to a song, or you can put in there something about um, what you like to draw, or whatever your heart desires. One girl told me that she has a full jar of positive statements that she pulls out every day just to make her feel better. So you can create your own toolkit and fill it with all those things that will make you happy. I wonder what will be in your toolkit. We're in the final stages of a KISS staff challenge to see how many miles we can rack up this week.